So, um, yeah. Team Three Peat, you will be banning one map to start. Uh, oh, so difficult when you have a lot of maps to pick. Between. Uh, we can ban uh, Railroad. Okay. Um, Jack? We're banning Word Industries. Okay, so that means you're picking between Deathmatch and... Come on, help me out here, guys. And Kanban. We're picking Deathmatch. Okay, Deathmatch. Got it. Um, so I'm going to new game into Deathmatch. Please stay in the voice right now. And Jack, could you actually bring the rest of your team into voice if they're able to? Sure. Yep. Um, new game Deathmatch, right? You said Deathmatch? Yeah. Interesting. Is this where have we had like a rap battle or something? <laughs> uh, you wish. Um, yeah, uh, I prepared so. <laughs> oh, did you really? Uh, um, uh, we could have a little bit of track. <laughs> um, I would like, first of all, you guys to set uh, set everyone to join their teams. I'm actually gonna. I kind of want to take a picture, so I'm gonna line everyone up. Um, I hope that's okay. <laughs> Sure. So, uh, Team 3 Pete will be red, and Team Ballas will be blue. So, please start forcing people. Um, I can even help. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Um, we are we are doing a quick photo. Um, so, I would like your four starting rots, four starting players to get to join their respective teams, and we're all going to come out to the center for a quick photo. Uh, okay. I mean, we still need to talk about that on our okay, end, but we'll definitely have people Go talk over. about that, and yeah. uh, please get on that. Okay. And then please join the voice call. Okay, can I stand okay. next to Sour? Um, yes, you can stand next to Sour if you want. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, discuss. All right, so they're going to go discuss their starting players. Exciting. Uh, Jack, you're not discussing the starting players. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. Um... All right. If you, you guys want to go, go talk about our starting players as well. All right, go talk about strategy. But I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you guys all to come back soon. So, oh, no. go for it. I, I, I was joking. I was thinking we need to go discuss our starting starting players. If you want to discuss a little bit of strategy, you can because you can take this time and do that, and I'll just wait until they have four players. Uh, we can we can we can deal with the strategy once we're in game. It's fine. Okay. Cool. 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 <laughs> yeah. You're, wait. Did I not? Where's my now? Uh, he is not here. I can go fetch him though. Yeah, that's uh, that seems like someone who should be in the server. Also, Waffle, if you could kick JC, that would be nice. JC. Yeah, sorry, JC. Um, also, I'm gonna have to mute for a second. I'm getting a call from my roommate. I don't know why that would be happening. So. Ian. Hello. Uh, hello. Ian, you're here. Ian, yeah. Ian uh, will be here in a sec. I think he has to take care of something. I'll discuss this with uh, opinion with you with a waffle. Uh, okay, what's up? Would you say that Jack sounds like uh, an organic chemistry tutor? Organic chemistry tutor? Yeah. Mm. No, he sounds more like the, not the first chair, but like a second chair trumpet player. Like he's trying his best, but he can't be the best at trumpet or something like that. Um, oh, poor he's guy. Even... <laughs> he's really trying, but he just can't get there. He can't join that jazz band. He's always going to end up being like... He he just got into guy. college. He's a freshman, but he's the one that's going to tell you I'm a sophomore by hours. So... Mm -hmm. Um. He puts Where in the I work, heard? he puts in the hours. Yeah. But he still can't play the trumpet. 
Okay. Uh, uh, that's fair. I, I had an opinion here, and we need. I, th I felt like, like we need to get it sorted out. So. He started it. All right, yeah. I am back. I'm sorry, I had to move my car. Uh, <laughs> um, do we have Do we have the other team? Did they get their four players? No. No, they are uh, absent. Okay, cool. Um, how's everyone doing, by the way? I mean, how's the tournament been going? How's life, you know? Good. Very excited to uh, take home the third championship. Nice. Oh, shit. That I'm... Um... Could be that day. Could also not be that day. The audience are at the edge of their seats. Oh, yes. This is very exciting. And to put on the shoe. The classic shoe. The classic shoe? Mm -hmm. Nice. The classic shoe. Yeah. Whew. What does EG stand for? Evil geniuses. Yeah, but why is it... Wrong. What does it stand for here? Uh, for example, uh, well, that's what it what it, tra it it translates to. For example, it's I'm, like I'm talking about on the give something on the deathmatch map. All right, where's Mino, by the way? Can we get him in here? Then I don't know. He's oh, already in the call. Oh, I didn't even no, see but it. he's not in the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I'm just uh, more. finding my mouse, of course. Oh, uh, what happened to Mino? Yeah, he uh. He, he's not going to make it. Uh, I think you guys are playing a 3v4, Jack. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 I'm joking. Man. I'm serious, man. I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Yeah. Actually, I think it's a, it's a 3v5 because Occasion said he's going to jump in right now. So. Oh. Um, okay, so can, do we have... We don't need all, all of your players. Oh, no, Minos here. Minos here. We just need the four yep. starting players. Yeah, Minos here. So someone forced Mino to red. We're gonna get everyone here for a picture. Uh, someone's gonna have to tell me the screenshot hotkey and not lie to me. Um, print screen. Is it control? I don't have a print screen on my keyboard. F12. You it's can do F12. F12. I don't I have an do. F12 on my keyboard. I have a 60% keyboard. I don't know. What the hell kind of keyboard are you using? <laughs> it's really cool. It's a really oh. cool keyboard. It's the worst <laughs> keyboard I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, control, just... control W. He just casually pulls out all the keys on his keyboard. I, I will like seriously, pro I'm just going to Google it. I can't trust anything you guys are saying. <laughs> I, I don't even, even want to know. I don't even want to know. He doesn't uh, have enough wall time. For a screenshot. I don't think up, he can up, use down, the left, right, tool left, right. when you leave the game. Oh, yeah, true. You can just change any of your controls, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just change oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my FN Windows Spacebar. You know, what, right. you know what Bing said? You go to controls and uh, you can. Oh, take your... you can take a you can take a yeah, screenshot. A and options controls. Really? Yeah, if if you click right twice, you'll have uh, down the bottom left screenshot F twelve. Oh, that's F twelve. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, he is gonna like run and buy a new keyboard real quick. We're gonna make that. <laughs> This Wait, I'll be at the store. Apostrophe. Okay, got it. All right, so everyone get to the middle, and Mino, please also join us. He got kicked for cheating. Did he really get <laughs> kicked for cheating? Okay. I would like to report the abuse on our team, please. Um. Okay. Exposed. So please, I'm on. I'm on the Ruts. Actually, wait. I'm going to the other side. I'm going to the other side. Give me shower. All right. So everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Where are we looking? Uh, you're, you're looking the wrong way. You gotta look. Oh, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Look look towards blue spawn. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm. Where are we standing? What line? Wait, uh, no, on I'm the center sour. line. On the center line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's how we get over here. Here we go. Arvid, you're. Are you... Someone. Arvid, you're oh. right in front of Jack. <laughs> Waffle, you're, you're, yes. in the sh you're in the shot right now. Boy, you're also in the shot. Um, Someone tell Boy to get out of the shot. Okay, he's out of the shot. He's out of the shot. Okay, so it's apostrophe. Wait, no, I gotta take another one. Boy just jumped in. Chevy, you gotta get out of the shot. Okay, got an idea. If he's watching the stream, he'll know. All right, perfect. Now he's out of the shot. Jack, you're not uh, looking. You're not looking at frame. Okay, everyone's looking at frame. You guys are all looking. Okay, keep looking, Maybe. keep looking. We're taking, taking another couple shots. So, 
Um, we're on deathmatch. I don't think there's a lot of explanation that needs to go into this match. You see, that's one flag. That's another flag. And the spawns are up here. Both the teams know this very well. Um, I would like to say a moment, though, that I said earlier, these, these two teams have faced each other in a lot of matches over, over time, and these players have specifically faced each other in a lot of matches over time, and it's usually been the finals, and it's usually been some very close, very exciting matches. Sometimes it's been one-sided, um, but we're always looking forward to it, and I think this match is, is just like every other. So without further ado, we're going to ask to see if they're ready. Are you guys ready? Um, please don't, please don't read the chat. By the way, thank you. If you're in, if you're in my Twitch, do not read any of the chat. Accidentally rocketed. Oh, jeez, we have to do a whole new game. Um, so occasion. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about your teams? How do you feel about ba Team Bala's chance on deathmatch? Do you think it's a good map? Um, do you think this is a better chance than other maps? Like, what do you think it? Yeah, admittedly, um, this is actually one of the maps that we assume that we play the most. So we've hmm. actually given this the most amount of practice time. I see. Um, so I do think this is a good map for us in terms of what we're going to do. Um, there's going to be somewhat of a clear or hopefully dynamic formation that you'll see. Exciting. Okay. Just waiting for that blue team ready. And hopefully we'll see that, that dynamic formation right from the beginning i did like um that opening salvo of all four players first on industries yeah yeah that's uh one of the strategies we employ we've called it total ctf total ctf exciting are you a theory crafter occasion ha maybe a little bit mm, that's good i like that i i think it's very interesting to think about all the things that matter in ctf um, we're still waiting on that ready. Ready. Ballas. Um, Waffle, what are your thoughts about this match? What are you hoping to see from Team 3, Pete? Um, I'm not sure. Let me look at their player list. Do I know what to do? Um, honestly, kind of... Uh... Loss of words. I actually don't know what to expect for this match. Or I'm curious I'm... to see um, whether Mino or Sour goes on defense, or if they even play a defense on this map. I, I am as well. I think they will, uh, because I've seen Sour defend on this map before, and he d he does his whole... He looks like, like he's going for it, yeah. Yeah, he does his whole setup. Oh, and Classic and Arvid are out immediately, and looks like all four blue team members are out at the beginning. Vank on one side, Treader on the other. Carry Beep staying back a little. I mean, where's oh, Linus using the stair, the line, yeah. Red, red teams, they set up their spawn so they don't have to fall as much, and they can just instantly be on top of the building, whereas Blue has not done that. Oh. But Vank is going in, too. Oh, he died, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a, we, I have a wide angle on the on the board right now, so we're kind of seeing everything. I'm kind of liking this view. I don't know. Jack. If, I don't know. Tell me if people at home can see all the individual things happening, but I have a great view of everything. The bridging from classic might be problematic here. Yeah, uh, Jack's trying to. Yeah, Jack oh, got him. What a great play by Jack! Also gets the tag, so the extra tag points. Yeah. Th this is the difficult part with Shred attacking on his own against two people like this. It looks like Jack is coming. Vank is coming in. All of blue team have covered some ground. They're collapsing on Arvid. Oh, now just mm -hmm. Vank left. This is going to be a. This is going right to be a tough classic here. This is going to be a tough map to get out on also. I feel like both of these teams know very well how to collapse on someone that if you get a grab, you might not even be able to convert it if they're able to collapse on you fast enough. Mm. Right. I do think it's going to be interesting to see how Mino plays because he is playing defensively at the moment, but mm. I could see him switching into more of a midfield role where he uses oh, yeah. top, like line areas to try and exploit any parts that aren't watched. Classic appears to be getting through to the He flagger. got mine though. Oh, yeah. that's a big mine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, just to elaborate on that, yeah, Minos a hybrid player, so I, I feel like he's going to be switching on and off throughout the match. It looks like Shred's go or oh, Shred and Jack are both going for it. Oh. They see classic. No, Shred's attacking. Jack is going for it. I don't understand why. I don't understand why classic stopped there. 
Oh, Carrier Beep was back, I guess. That makes sense. Right. Yeah, and it's it's classic versus Carrier Beep on this side. Vank is still over there, it looks like. I think the difficult problem with classic isn't so much his TNT as much as it is the movement. He's yes. probably one of the best, if not the best, when it comes to that. He's super yeah. quick. Yeah, you see that? He just right. he completely outfox carry. Yeah. But but Vank on the other side does the same thing. Not in as good of a spot, but has Shredder to screen Cover. for him. Nice oh. kill. This Plus. might be a huge play here. If Shred can shield Oh yes, he can. Okay, this sure. might actually Classic is going directly for a counter though. The question oh. is whether they can yeah. Oh, they hold him. Oh, they hold him. And they hold him. This will be a cap. Let's go. It's an early lead for Balas. No one expected this. Golasso, golasso, goddamn. Okay. Right. They're... On the attack, this is something that we've always mentioned. You know, you can't just send one person to attack mm. when there's two defenders or three. Yeah. You have to coordinate from different extreme angles to try and get through uh, just whatever they send. I, I, I almost think, and you probably know better than me, occasion, but it doesn't feel like like Jack is not a defender, and I don't think what they're doing is really putting him on defense. I think they're just putting him on classic duty. Like his job yeah. is to is to try and kill classic. Um, yeah, that might be something we told him to do. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. I was thinking. If, oh, Arvid is actually making a, a sneak play over yeah, here, and he's totally unnoticed. Mm. If if I had Jack for my show, oh match, man, this might be a problem here. <laughs> Oh no, they might yeah, actually go for it. He's yeah, totally yeah. through. He's totally through. Yeah, yeah. And he gets a grab. Jack's there, but he's not going to be there. Does he have a rocket? No, I think they might be able Vank to pinch him, though. Around and get him. Nice oh, kill. What a great TNT. The pinch was there. Vank, yeah, they were getting this around, and I think Arvin noticed it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I instantly noticed that Jack was playing differently. A bit more defensive, but not quite defense. He was yeah. targeting. Mm -hmm. well, I think the key to understanding how mm -hmm. this is playing out is understanding that there's one dedicated attacker and one like three midfielders yes so it, it's a variation on the total ctf i was talking about it's Excellent. so it's vank on attack and then everyone else in midfield is what you're saying not quite it's classic it's different. almost right oh. one person is attacking though classic is getting through shredder gets a grab classic is gone that appeared to be, might a be a bit of yeah this might be an equalizer here vank definitely could have turned around a little earlier Oh, I think you know you learn from your mistakes. Yes, game is still very early, and it's like five minutes. Five past, minutes, so. we're at one one. I'm reminded of Diablo. <laughs> oh, this is very exciting. Jack placing mines. There was a random red mine on top of the blue building for some reason earlier in the game. Just randomly. I think what Team Ballas needs to realize is that uh, they do that. Classic team, the three P basically works on movement the most. Mm -hmm. It's not so much about the TNT. Yep. So if you have a team that's better at movement, they're going to try and exploit extreme angles, like on... this, like this line here. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. On on paper, this map does seem a lot better though than their war game, um, because I yeah. think the key difference is that the flag is harder to defend here. And it, there are more opportunities for, for I guess, even TNT, which is much more in Ball's, Bala's favor because they can get through Sour's defense sometimes. Um, right. And they can force TNT fights that War ne doesn't necessarily have. That, that's mm -hmm. somewhat true, yeah. yeah. I think with War, I think the problem there wasn't so much that we didn't, um, we couldn't defend. Oh, so I think it's also partly that oh. we also didn't really attack yeah. at the time. Um, well, yeah, no, here, I, think I think it's harder, classic, it's harder to yeah. attack, it's like, it's harder to mm -hmm. attack on war, right? Like, you couldn't get through, but you can get through on deathmatch. Yeah, this Ooh. is what I was talking about. Classic is like, the problem with classic is that because his movement is so good, he's basically very hard to kill. Yeah, they um, have no idea where he is. Right, when you're attacking, you know, having those moments where you just basically, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, that, that's, mm -hmm. that's an immense play right there, and that was... Right. A teamwork play. Arvid came up right at the right time. They were all looking at Arvid. Classic jumps yeah. down and grabs the flag. What a good play. The key here is that the movement, um we, we actually I actually measured this. So when Classic does this jump, right? He doesn't yeah. usually do it when he's attacking or fighting people, but when he moves around the map, uh it does increase his speed. What do you mean this jump? So when you're the way the game physics work, if you're just walking this game, there's actually friction that's applied, so it slows you down. But oh, if really? you're jumping from a distance like that, from a height, yeah. 
it actually makes you go faster because uh, the game doesn't compensate for friction there. So when Classic does that, or even like Arvid's doing that, right? So this is actually why it's so problematic to fight them. Jump because they're, all the time, you're moving faster? It's So the way you maximize it, if you can get to a two block height and then jump down to ground level and then keep doing that repeatedly, oh. and you basically get to a point where you're uh you're losing the friction right because at that point gravity takes effect and because gravity is taking effect you actually go cover more distance in a shorter amount of time so it makes you faster and as we're talking about this learning new things we have arvid coming all the way on the right unnoticed right so i i think one of the key things that three pete is pulling out oh and shredder takes the flag on the other side you're gonna try to force a stalemate here the question is whether shredder can get through classic I, I mean, the and question Mino. is, Mino Mino's is going to kill him right Yeah, now. Mino's... Oh, yeah, nope. that's what I was talking about. But Jack is still here. Jack's going to jump down and get mined. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Well, didn't even have a chance. Something, uh, something I haven't seen yeah. being yeah. used a lot is this... this ah, I can't speak to... This line in the middle it has, like... Has, mm. Hasn't even been broken, but it also hasn't been used a lot. It, it's The just, problem it, here for Balas is not that they're fighting poorly. It's just that they're not marking their men. Hmm... So what's happening right now is that they're not cover they're not thinking about who they're not thinking about. Yeah. If that makes sense. Uh, that's so, absolutely right. Right now, like this is actually why they lost process too. Um that that's actually a closer map. They could have won that. The problem was is um they didn't watch where Mino was and they yeah. kept wondering where's Mino they well one, they should have wondered where's Mino. They didn't mm -hmm. think about where Mino was and they just assumed that he was back on spawn. I think, you know, trust but you also have to you know just verify mm. i think that's very well said and sometimes you can see this right here three pete does like to switch it up they have sour on attack they have a triple attack yeah. right now with classic sour and arvid and yeah. that and coming like marking your person does work very well i've i've seen that be a strategy against three peat and then they do something crazy like send sour all the way up to the front and suddenly yeah. you're faced with someone that you did not expect at all yeah 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 it looks like they're going for that third that fifth cap they really want it they they have their whole team basically all at defense all at attack yeah oh, what you'll so. notice is that if you look at the kill sheets, right? Yeah. Blue team is get so Balas is getting more kills, right? So clearly, yeah. like in terms of TNT skill, one team is far better than the other. The problem here is that in CTF, it's not about the kills; it's about how fast you move, right? Mm. Maybe like on a smaller map where it's confined, where you have to force conflict, um, you do get a situation, right, where TNT skill matters a lot more. But here, because it's mm -hmm. you know much more open than say like compound. You know that doesn't matter as much because if you can just move past someone, it's uh, it's basically game ending there. And that's that's why deathmatch is tough to plan. What were the what was the other option? It was oh what a rocket! Oh wow, rocket from orbital cannon. I did not Living expect up to the that. Name. Oh, but will Arvid they get that? Oh, like will Vank be able to stop? Vank did not check. Yeah, Vank. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Vank didn't check it there. Oh wow, what a play. Somehow mm -hmm. Carrier Beep still has the most points. He always does on their team. Yeah. And that'll be the game. Yeah. GG. What a game. It was I, mm -hmm. I will say, even though it's another loss in the books for team Team Ballas, I've I I have talked to Team 3P many times, and you know what they told me as of yesterday? Their goal this tournament was to make sure not a single they didn't let a single capture through. And mm. They let a capture oh, they're through. They're always a little haughty. So. Yeah. so they let a capture through. So that's at least a that's at least a win. Um, that was that was right. that's the moment. I ask for too much. Alright, two and... bands. <sighs> okay. Um I can come back to commentate. I'm just going to quickly talk to my team and yes. see what's up in Please terms go. of roster. Yep. Yep. Alright. That was nice to have a good uh, a good representative occasion from Team Ballas to see how that went. You could see Okina okay, yeah. getting very visibly happy and excited when that first capture came through. <laughs> yeah, he did. But also, I love that occasion was also like criticizing his team and like, hey, yeah. this is like this is where they're messing up and stuff. And like, I, I like Okazian. I think he's a good commentator. I, I, I was gonna say quickly, 
that blue team never made like a platform spawn area and so like i think over time that cost a few seconds and it just piles on mm. compared to right i don't i don't know i agree i 100 percent agree that later on they would have built something but they just decided to put vines but you still have to fall all the way to the bottom and then go back up um this is temple grounds right no this, no, this is, is altar. altar oh it's not quite as good as temple grounds that was good but yeah it's, this is a very different map have you played on this map before i have um it's not you a, can explain not a waffle ninja map i don't think it's actually you'd be surprised it gives me just enough height. Um, oh, really? I'd say. Yeah, because you can you can basically be on these leaf chandelier thingamabobbers, oh. and you can just build obsidian webbing in between them. You can them. be on the... I didn't even think of that. I didn't realize that. Wow. And this is too... People don't look this up that often, so yeah. you can just wait and jump and tag like three people when they're going to for the flag. Wow, that's very I would smart. say the mine here and stuff, yeah. Oh man. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to think about that next time because I've tried defending on this map a lot and I've I I I don't think I have it quite down. I had a I had a brief five minutes with it, but um I was gonna say oh but speaking of temple grounds, that kinda leads me to believe the line wasn't used that much in the game. And I don't know for other people, but for me a line is precious, especially if you can keep it intact. Mm. It kinda extends my my playability. So if you think back in deathmatch, instead of just being tied to that uh, flag building, I could have extended all the way till the mid and just guard from the sky, like yeah. basically the entire blue, yeah. and create webbing from there. Um, it's a whole of different course, game. Of course, you have to maintain it. But uh, I, I would say that um, three, uh, three P, they did use the line a little bit more. One time they pushed like three people, and I said, "Damn, that." That's a hard push because they didn't have nobody else countering them on the line. Mm. That was a really good push that I saw. But it, yeah, so it, can... it looks like there's a substitution coming in. We have our former commentator, OKZN, taking up the helm instead of Carrier Beep on this altar. What an interesting Look. change. The, the player who earned the most points for their team last round is now sitting on the bench. We will see if it is a good change or a bad change. I I gotta say I think Occasion's an amazing player and I I doubt it it'll be bad, but I think mm -hmm. whether it'll be better is something I'm interested in. I think Occasion is more valuable as a maybe as a strategist. Like he just demonstrated yeah. it's like, hey, this is what they're doing, this is what they're doing, and it's like maybe that him just observing I think he's a great observer and just being able to communicate with his team. Maybe that's what I don't know. That might be his strength. I I 100 percent think so, and it's so interesting that because I always thought o Occasion didn't play optimally because he played so slow, right? Like he he tends to be a, a sit back and TNT type guy, and I was like, but but speed is the name of the game, right? So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this goes. Um, it looks like both teams are ready, so we're gonna hit slash start. Um, I think we'll look for some. Look to see exactly what Team Three Pete's opener is. So we'll start by looking at Blue Spawn. There's there's no good one spot to watch the game. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a it's a short map, but at the same time, it's it's wide and it's also tall. But I don't think these players use that elevation like I do, so mm. we won't see a lot of that. And it looks um, like Sour and Mino are the main fronters, and then Arvid and are the main are the main defenders, and then Arvid and Classic are going on attack, but. Uh, uh, Shredder and Jack are taking up the attack positions, and then Vank and Occasion are setting up a defensive matrix of mines. Mm. Those are some annoying mines, that's for sure. Oh yeah, these are annoying. Jack taking front and center. Occasion's trying to take an alternative route, but he got exploded by Classic. It's surprising that they're having Vank defend so far back. Hmm. I don't know what they're scared of, um, or if that's even a, an optimal use of players. Oh, and Classic Plus, and Arvid are going mm -hmm. through. Arvid's going to get a grab on this, but is he going to be able to get out? Oh, oh and he ooh. does. He only got that because of Classic. Jack was yes. going to get him. He I mean, the right Classic moment. cleared out the mines, which was the key thing. Mm -hmm. As well, yeah. Yeah. 
And yeah, and it looks like that'll be a grab. I don't know how I would feel right now. We're we're a minute and a half in, and this is already one cap. This is pretty demoralizing. Yeah, Shredder was trying to intercept, but Mino held him off just enough, just long enough. I think the secret is going to not not be demoralized, right? You got to set up your defense. You got to trust the process because at this point, changing too much, it's not going to help, right? Like it's, and that's exactly what they did, right? And because you have 18 minutes left to even this up. Okay, I think Vank is pushing more now. Occasion as well, but I think Occasion is going to stay more defensive. This map of all the maps does seem like the map that is easiest to track all the players, right? That's that's what Occasion mm-hmm. was talking about. You can't lose track of players with this team. You got to know where everyone is, and that's the way you're going to be able to get a good defense. And this map has very clear lanes, so we're going to see if they're able to track. Yeah, and I imagine they're talking to us like, "Hey, I have, I have lemon. Hey, I have this. Okay, so who has a uh, mino? Mm-hmm. Um, especially mm-hmm. with Okazian and, and the comms." Yeah, that's the goal. And they they have been pushed back right now though. They haven't they haven't crossed over to the other side very recently. And one of the things I I was thinking about that Occasion was saying is is he said you know they're not that good at TNT Team Three Pete. You know, they, they have great team play, but their TNT lacks a little. And I don't know if that's Ooh. strictly true, and we're kind of seeing that, that in a map like this that is all TNT, they, they can mm-hmm. hold their own. That confidence. Uh, Classic let Jack go into into blue side, cause, and he mm-hmm. said, fuck it. And, yeah, he trusted his teammates. And his teammates didn't let him down. Yeah, no. Lemon got him with the flamethrower. It was a good kill. Here's Lemon. Lemon is pushing. Oh, but he got it. He got sniped by okay. I'm I'm happy that occasion is is getting some kills. That is something that's that I like to see. Mm-hmm. Classic has a kill streak of five. Classic has been playing really well all week. It's been kind of obscene to watch. The guy's been absolutely decimating people, ending their existences, right? Um, mm-hmm. And we're watching him now playing super well as well. You know, Minos also TNTing better than I anticipated. Um, he's taking on Shredder, no problem. Mino's and... good. Mino's not bad. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Yeah, he's he's having his duels with Shredder. So I guess Shredder's on Mino duty. Oh. And, then... okay, and it's okay. occasion and classic. Only the two of them. All the mines are cleared out. Can Red Team? Can Red Team defend this? Can Red Team make sure that they they hold this push? They haven't even had a chance to get to the other side. Yeah, they didn't recall. Jack could have easily gone and helped against Classic, but, I mean, he, he saw Classic, but he said, nah, I'm going to keep pressing forward, so okay, I'll keep and Bank in. are solo on Classic, and they're letting Jack through, but in a way, it's just leaving it's just leaving Occasion right now by himself against a bunch of blue team members. He oh, gets a he kill. Got... Now Classic's the one alone. He's getting cornered, but he's getting some good moves. Yeah, he's still alive. Just being alive here is is so much pressure. And now it's Occasion by himself. Yeah. Occasion kill streak of five. Oh, oh no, he gets the tag. That's wow. hard. Love to see. Full reset. Occasion with a kill streak of five. Honestly, playing out of his mind to to defend that onslaught, three minute onslaught where red team did not cross their own side. They crossed their own side maybe once as a team and now they're right back on it yeah red team's playing all the yeah they're just being forced to play i don't think they want to be playing this defensively they don't because they're not they're not defenders they're not they're being forced to it's absolutely um um it's absolutely not a conscious choice you know they're they're doing their best um trying to defend all of the attacks right And, and blue team is realizing that Hey, we can send four players here. Uh, I don't. We we don't. You guys can't sneak someone around us now. There's. It just can't happen. Right? What I could see, maybe happen is um if Shredder can kill Lemon or Minor in one of these duels and just goes because he's more isolated from the the core fighting the three v threes. Yeah, he might be able to sneak in a uh, a grab if he can kill like Minor twice on his own. And then if everybody else holds off everybody else, um, that might happen, but not very confident about it. Jack's struggling a little bit with Lemon. Oh, oh but, but here. Yeah. 
And it looks like they've held it all back, and Occasion is now attacking. He is by himself oh. on the other side, dominating Sour Lemon, by himself against three players. He can't do this alone. He's playing slow. He's yeah, got Shredder, Shredder now. Oh, they got, he got him again. And it's just Occasion, three players. He's pushing in. Yeah, now he's trying to squeeze. I think it's better to back off him. He still hasn't died. This substitution may have been worth it. Meanwhile, over here, Vank is protecting Jack as well. Everything's calm over here in red. Wow, Occasion is just... He's in a tight spot, but if he could maybe... There we go. Go for oh. oh, I didn't see Lemon. I did not see Lemon. Neither did he. But it's good to see that we... that Good to see Occasion out here dominating Sour Lemon, playing very well, both in defense and in offense, really feeling himself... Uh, especially from a player that was benched in their first match and then switched out mm -hmm. um, for Carrier Beep, who then performed admirably. And I mean, no, no, Carrier Beep has just been playing great. Like, it's not like I think either of them are playing all, bad. Yeah, out of all the players here, Occasion's been the best uh, multitasker. He's been taking on like multiple enemies. He's, he's uh, spit out a flamethrower or a grenade, TNT. Like, he, he'll use any tool he has in his mm -hmm. toolbox. And You're right. Really cool. Yeah, it's just really cool. He's playing. He's playing very well. Um, it's good to see. But I mean, will it be enough? Oh, Vank appears to Classic be getting through. Classic oh. is set the flag. Jack sees him. He's, he's he has the advantage by everything. It, it. Oh. Whoa. Classic alone. Occasion is trying to save the day. Surrounded. Oh mm. my god. What's over here in blue? Classic mm -mm. killed. Three players diffused like four mines, w walked his way through every single obstacle to get that cap. That was, mm -hmm. th there was no team play in that cap. That was a classic cap. Um, I he say threw that, that grenade. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say that, but Arvid mm -hmm. also did help a little. <laughs> nobody, nobody took out um, a grenade magnet out of Jax's hoodie. Yeah. I think he still has it on. Yeah, 100% does. <laughs> and this this is one of the things we're seeing. Teams are evenly matched. We're getting we're getting similar levels of TNT, um, but there's an there's an X factor, right? And it's it's this like at any given moment, a situation that should be winning, right, mm -hmm. is is suddenly losing. You know, like like they could just they could just flip flip the game on its head, just at a at a seconds glance and that's what we're seeing right now it's 3-0 right now They're looking to take this series to 2-0 yeah not look good for team ballas oh but they've what got we just saw is is what occasion said you can't unsee it after occasion explained hmm. um classic did a two pillar flamethrower and killed occasion and then grabbed the flag he did that two pillar maneuver and like yeah, yeah. i can't unsee it now i see it now that occasion the pointed it down. i'll be trying to incorporate that myself because Mm. Yeah, but um, okay, we have Arvid. Okay, Arvid couldn't take no, on Shredder. Occasion is yes, blocked by Classic. Classic has a kill streak of ten. This no is way. against the stiffest competition he could possibly be fighting. Right, he is he's playing against the best players in CTF um, currently. Yeah, besides his own team, and he's on a kill streak of ten. You see this, you see this, and you're like, ah, how how good is Ballas? You just have to see the last match. And it's like, no, Ballas is good. It's just, yeah, um, it's just insane. No, Classic snuck by. Fuck. Oh wow, they weren't tracking That's him. That's great. Look at that. And they and he jukes them out. And now Arvid's here to assist, and that's gonna be another the, cap. There's no the way Shredder is gonna get there. It's too many mines. Too many people. Yeah. There's too much in between. Okay, Jack is trying to. Arvin's yeah, he sees the moving the fly, and he sees not another one. Arvid's going for the fifth. He's going back around by the spawn, but he's gonna be he's gonna be trapped by three. I hit a lag spike. Okay, there we go. At this point, we're looking to looking at a very short grand finals. Mm -hmm. If if the match Very's continues to go in this range, in this direction. Jack is fixated on that flag. He does not want to lose his last flag. He, oh. he tried the dating. 
It doesn't. They it, let... Oh, they got him, but Classic's got the grab, and Classic with the flag is is no tall order, right? Occasion's trying to hold the city. Occasion's doing his best to hold the entire team out. He turns around. He kills Occasion Arvid. Occasion could have gotten Classic, but Arvid got in the way. He could have sneaked. Oh, yeah. Goes for the flamethrower, and he's killed by Sour, and that's that's gonna be the game right there. Wow, a five okay. zero. Okazian did a really good. He he snuck up on Classic twice on their side. Um, if if we just look not... at the points alone, um, he outpointed all of his teammates except for Jack, and Jack had the bonus fifty from from the. Oh, that's right. Yeah, from First Blood. So I mean, also looking at points, you really notice that Sour Lemon is yeah is crazy good as well i mean i don't know it's it's tough to it's tough to really say uh, classic also with a dominating 375 points that that it almost that doesn't seem possible right like mm -hmm. um how dominant he is okay okay oh wait wow wow wow, wow. uh two bands again from uh Counter picks. What? Who am I asking them for? Oh yeah, team. I think this. Three P. Three P. This will be. This could be our final game. Do you think they will go back to altar after getting five out on altar? There. Bamboo and process. I mean, they're obviously talking stuff out. What? What's going on? I mean, we don't know, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's not a. It's not a great decision because you have you have conviction or not sorry not conviction uh, conflict which is a massive map and it I I know that it's the map that classic is good at it's it's it, it's I think only benefit is you can stalemate on it but otherwise it's just a map for three peat and then what's the other one that they can choose uh, Torvis Torvis that was the one oh, yeah. we saw oh. earlier. I was gonna comment on Torvis before I left. Um, it kind of seems twofold with a uh, mm -hmm. uh, flag capturing, because on one end, it's uh, it's kind of hard to capture the flag, but yeah. if you get the flag, it's it's kind of easy to run it back. Um, like I said earlier, mistakes just um, uh, build off of each other, and it's kind of exponential mm -hmm. when you're chasing somebody there due one, to how it's made. One of the things about Torvis that's so scary. Um, I told you earlier that me and Sub were practicing a bit on Torvis. We were coming in while Classic and Sour were doing essentially like drills on every map where Sour would set up a defense and then Classic would just break it, right, and go through. Mm -hmm. um, and Torvis, I probably saw Classic kill Sour and get the flag six or seven times in a row, no problem, right? Oh, fuck. And... I don't know if that tells you that Sour doesn't understand how to defend the flag on the map. I think what it what it tells me is that against potentially the best defender right now in CTF, Classic is has no problem getting the flag on that map. So Yeah, the cassette conundrum. <laughs> that flag structure is so good for defense. So the fact that Classic just six wow. It's also really good for Classic. I think he works very well in on maps with with limited information, right? Maps with mm -hmm. maps where you can dip out of vision and then you don't know where they they don't know where you are and then you can dip back into vision. Mm. So that's that's what he's doing. What do you think Team Bala should be doing like player wise like who should they replace or should they replace? Um I don't want to I don't wanna know. say really replace people. I think Vank has been not really performing to expectation yeah i don't think today's his day but i don't i don't know but i don't, I don't, I don't chatting. know if i would replace vank because there's a chance he can turn on i think they're they're putting him in weird spots they're putting him on defense it's it, i don't know it's kind of strange and Vank is not a defender um the the question is whether they're gonna keep carrier beep and occasion and maybe take out one of their like big three 
Shredder, Jack, and Vank. And I you can never take Jack out of that. Like he's he's You can't. Jack is kind trying of trying his hardest to carry, right? But Yeah. I, I mean, think I don't know. I guess maybe you can't I think these matches have shown us you can't out TNT this problem. You can't out TNT three peat. Maybe try and replace Shredder, but at the same time, that could just crumble out everything because Shredder has been holding mine on stuff. But I, I actually do not know, and I do not envy their position. I, I would not want to be trying to figure this puzzle out at all. It, it it's a puzzle, and I mean, we're gonna get to see another another team challenge at it, depending on who wins this uh, in the show match on Sunday, uh, which I hope you guys are all excited for. Um. But, I mean, we don't know who, who's going to be in the show match just yet. We haven't crowned a champion yet. We're two games in. They have been dominant games. But Torvis can change everything, as we saw previously. Mm-hmm. Um, let's let's force the players. Uh, ja- uh, what, what is their team name? Ballas. Ballas pick mm-hmm. color. Yeah. The losing team can pick color. So... Uh, that's important for one map, which is conflict, because conflict is a asymmetrical map in which I believe blue has a slight advantage. Looks like Occasion is returning to the commentary desk. Um, oh, okay. Or at least to the bench. He left the game. Diamond cake? They're putting diamond cake in? Oh, okay. Diamond is very versatile. Carabeep has joined the game. Okay. Carrier Beep, Diamond Cake, Jack, Shredder? No Vank? Oh, no Vank on this map? I feel Vank would be good on this map. Diamond Cake just left the game. What is going on? Did they forget that they they have Vank on their team? Were they like, (laughs) let's put in Diamond Cake, and they're like, oh shit, uh, we're listening to the commentary. Vank's here, too. (laughs) Oh, my God. Um, Occasion just... Occasion did look like he left the game, so I don't don't know what's going on. I mean, they have their four. They have Carrier B, Jack, Diamond Cake, Shredder. Um, let me message okay. Occasion to see if he's see if he's coming. Occasion, you commentating? You commentating? My my guess is that Carrier's gonna try and cap from like a weird ass angle coming from the outside. Um, Jack and Shore are just gonna push, and then Diamond Cake is gonna play defensively. Mm. That's where they're the diamond. If I had to guess, um, he he showed a lot of defensive, um behaviors earlier today but uh as for blue i mean you already said it classic is gonna go after that flag he was rocky um training this map all right uh, oh hello occasion are you in for commentary uh why not i oh. i i want to say just i'm tragic about the results of that match but me and waffle over here i thought you were playing super well you played, uh, oh my god, yeah, bro, you were fuck. crushing it. Uh, that you had like that five kill streak and were pushing up by yourself, uh, towards the I flag, yeah, like ever. That was crazy. And the defense, like, I that the um, there was like from minute 18 to like minute 15, it was like just, just you against the world. Classic was literally in the base the whole time, and you just essentially yeah. kept killing people and like still holding it off from classic. It was very well done. Um, but I Thank mean, you. you guys got five out in the end, so so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I think the coordination was a little off. I think yeah. some of them got a little mm-hmm. flustered, and I told them, you know, if I go on attack, that's fine. But you know, you guys have to make sure one person can really do the yeah. defense, right? So like, I'd rather just stay in defense because I know Jack um, is not going to be able to hold it on his own. He's better at attacking. Yeah. Yeah. Like the way to think about Jack is like he's a dump truck, right? Or like a speeding like bulldozer. You exactly. don't really want to like stop him. Okay, we're gonna start. They're all complaining about uh, them taking long. It's really just the commentators talking. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited for this Torvis match. We're gonna get to see Diamond Cake again. 
Um, I I love yeah. my old, um, the old Bala's leader Diamond Cake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say, um, I think Bank mentioned that you guys were surprised he wasn't playing. Diamond Cake. Mm -hmm. No, uh, no Bank. Oh yes, we were very surprised he wasn't playing. Yeah, I mean it's interesting. Um, oh, oh wow, Jack's already big going first off here. Blood. We love that. Yeah, it's a yeah. I am here. yeah. This might actually mess with three peat a little bit, but we'll see. Oh, and um, he gets another kill. Classic's nice. sad about that grenade. That grenade definitely should have killed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, he's probably kill. a little bit flustered about yeah. that. Um, what I can imagine about Jordy Bank, being though? flustered. Oh yeah, with Bank, um, we were thinking about verticality on this map. So in terms of verticality, we wanted just like a heavy offensive lineup. Mm -hmm. So I think for Bank, he didn't feel comfortable. And then on top of that, we knew that we had better, I think, verticality options. So we went with that. Bank's pretty vertical. I he is, see. but um, the was, problem yeah. is like, I, I think it also comes down, right, to TNT use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's not a problem with Vank. It's not that he's bad. It's just that his ping... What he sees on screen is different from what people like playing in America would see. Yeah, that's true. So he has a huge delay. And so for someone against like Sour or like Nina or Classy who are defending, it's going to be tough for him. And we have a cap on the board yep. for Arvid. Yeah. Oh, you man. heard her here first, folks. Occasion said Vank sucks. God damn. <laughs> no no, Vank is amazing. I think it's that's not what that we he just sucks. Heard. I I think what's impressive about Bank, I think what people should recognize is that despite all of that ping, he's found a way to play consistently at this kind of level of CTF. Oh. I I suspect that um I suspect that Team Ballas may not really understand what they're dealing with here. Um Arvid is just Yeah, Arvid is on that is line. only is going under the map. He's going under the bridges. And mm, he's sneaking yeah. in and he's grabbing the flag and he's getting out. And Right. Ar Quite frankly, Ar question is well, there's a stalemate now. Yeah. Question is whether Carrier can catch him or like at least block him off. Oh, but Shredder gets killed. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say Arvid is what I thought Carrier Beep was gonna be a bit like in this map. Kind of. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah Arvid is. A I think very it makes sense for Diamond player. to defend, but I think Diamond didn't. Uh, I think I don't know. Yeah. We'll see if the trick continues to work, but I mm. doubt it will. Yeah, that's what I thought. But... Yeah. Okay, I yeah. Also... Unless they can cut off mm -hmm. Arvid here. Diamond, so yeah, this battle right here, Diamond's facing is pretty important. He has to watch out for Classic, though, too. Oh, oh! yes, that's what I was saying, yeah. Oh, but but yeah, he has to watch out for Classic. Yeah, yeah. That was the problem. There's no, yeah, that that's a situation where there's no, there's no right answer. Yeah, right? the grenade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's not much defense. And Arvid again the... is coming right. from the bottom. I don't know if they even know this, right? Have they have they figured it out? I think if I were Diamond, um, I think he should like catch on by now. I think that's, he probably that's what knows. I would say. He's looking around all sides. Oh. Yeah, he sees. He sees. Yeah, he sees him now. He knows where he is. Carry beep is coming in too for defense. I'm not Arvid. sure about Carrier coming in to defend here. I think it should just be Diamond. I... That that might be a little risky, but yeah. it, I I think Diamond is enough to hold. Okay, so then one. Okay, they have to stagger their defense here against Classic. I am fairly yeah. confident that, that Classic can probably get this cap. He he, he can probably himself. get it through. Yeah. Yeah. But the best way to maximize the result here is to stagger your defense. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. So that that is sort of what they're doing right now. Yeah, exactly. So if one person dies, the other person, yeah, someone comes oh, back. Nice. That's what you do. Yeah. You have to stagger like that and then try to but wear. Do they know that Classic Arvid's down. here? I don't think they do, and now they see him. Battle between Mino and Shredder in the middle. Yep. Now the question is, where does Jack Arvid is also going him? through the water, but oh. I think Mino's already saw it. Yeah, seen him. I think Jack is more like, I want to get this water out of my fucking way. Good he kill from Carrier. Yes, but Classic's coming up from the other side, and they spot him. Yeah. They've they've finally locked down the flag, which is a a very impressive skill against such strong opponents, but. Um, the two caps on the board with 15 minutes left is gonna be tough. And now Mino and yeah. Sour are coming in. With a team composition, or like with a game like this, um, yeah, like getting even one cap, right, makes the difference. With like easier, if the difference between two teams is really great. Yeah. Then like, you know, a lot can happen, but 
2-0, it's like almost like playing soccer, right? Where like yeah. if one team is down 2-0, it's really hard to come back from that. One of the things mm. I've I've noticed about this uh, about this team three peat is that whenever their defenders are suddenly attacking, their flag is yeah. never getting taken. And whenever any other team's defenders are like suddenly not defending in the right spot, it's an instant grab, right? Like it, yeah. they, they have a very good understanding of how to allocate their people, right? They, they know yeah. when they can have a lot of people right now, red team. I think the allocation part, um, completely, I mean, yeah, this could be a grab. Yeah, I mean, I think the allocation part comes down to the movement, right? The movement at the end of the day, if you have the faster movement, you have more options as to like where you can put people because they can get to a critical moment in that space at yeah. that time. Yes. Um, and that's the challenge, right? I mean, I think that's the new CTF meta. It's something that we've noticed. It's something that we've tried to work on. Obviously, you know, it's something that we still struggle on, but... Uh, I mean, that's what it is, right? If you're looking for, like, TNT skill, it's no longer just about that anymore. It's about movement, positioning, and then strategy. <sighs> Tragic. Uh, TNT skills, the way of the past. That was all I hoped to do. <laughs> also, just for the sake of transparency, I forgot I was mod. I, I deleted this random-ass blog, but I swear to God, it was so random, it's not going to fuck the game. So it, right, was, it was I, just I, a I yeah. trust you, I trust you. I also think one thing you notice is that oh wait no never mind that both both teams are utilizing this island tree as a staging point for flag mm -hmm. attempts. Yeah, that is a new meta. I think people have learned uh, from the Zingin game. Yeah, with Lego Space mm -hmm. Guy and uh, was it Yig's team. Um, I don't think people realize that you could like use. I mean, people. I mean, people didn't really consider using the waterways, right? Yep. Cutting through and then saving time that way. But it actually is very effective. It saves you time. It's yeah. better for movement. Mm. And I would say for the tree landing point, I would either try to destroy that platform or overtake it to so I can expand my defensive um, area. And I could I could also see more things from this position. I could even see under the flag and stuff. So I could just be moving back and forth from here if I yeah. were to overtake it. I think the uh, best this this team looked was against 3 Pete in deathmatch when they were playing that mark the classic strategy right yeah in, in process i mean if you if you get classic, classic down um the team's not it, as scary it, it's not as scary right because classic by far if you look at every single member of uh 3 Pete, classic is the scariest because he has such good movement yeah mm -hmm. and his tnt can amazing. get in like and get out he he, yeah. he has and one of the reasons why his tnt is so good is because he moves into places that just are surprising you know and you get right you get caught off guard exactly that and also like he uses grenades uh pretty effectively in the sense that like if you're attacking right mm. um and you got the flag if you use the grenade to like fire it off um that's an added pressure right that someone who's chasing you has to think about so it's not like you can just run in immediately because it's no longer just about like putting TNTs behind you and then trying to slow someone down that way. You you could actually fire off a grenade and kill them too. It looks like it's just Shredder alone over here trying to get yeah trying to get a grab at a crucial I, I'm moment. not sure exactly who came up with the strategy of like putting Carrier because um, I, I don't remember that's something that we talked about but I think Carrier should have been attacking from the start. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Carrier, um, the whole reason why I thought like Carrier should have played this was that um, he's better at attacking, right? He's good at verticality. Yeah. He's you, you don't really want to take someone who's good at verticality, right? And then just put them in defense. Well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, sure. Like, but like, it, <laughs> sorry, verticality when it comes to attacking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, we're I not guess. seeing that same kind of verticality from Carrier when he's defending the entire way through. And, it, and it's not oh, that's actually good here. It looks like all three blue members are going yeah. for their fifth cap this may be the final cap in the tournament i think so yeah maybe Ten it depends on whether in. they can get carry or sorry classic at this point but they're trying to effectively shield him i think what would make more sense is to try and maybe like yeah what carry or shred is doing right now against sour but the question is whether sour can actually get through this on his own if he Hard had a grenade this, this would back. help a lot mino has just been respawned Carrier oh, Carrier's, okay, Carrier's doing what he needed to do. Yeah, this is what I was Carrier's talking about. Watch out for Armin, though. He's He's Carrier, okay, Carrier way. needs to force the stalemate here. 
I, I think, think he's gonna be that. able to. He's gonna force it for. He a has little to watch while. out for Arvid. If I were carrier, I'd watch out for a grenade at this point. Yeah. Oh, I hit a lag spike. Oh. I would probably tower up. I would tower up too. I think Car Yeah. I think Carrier's realizing, or he's trying to hope that. Yeah. He's gonna get cornered on three uh, sides. Yeah. He's gonna try to go There's through the middle. I think that, and then Sour will turn on him, right? He's about I to, think the yeah, idea see. is that you oh, tower up. Oh, he's going to go yeah, through mid. Exactly okay, Sour what broke what the defensive be. line. That's the re Yeah. Exactly. Oh, but Sour's going to. Oh, okay. Can Jack hold this? Oh! 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 oh. 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 Cornered on all ends. And that was no, the game. GG. GG. G -G, uh, God damn. Well, that is our tournament. What an amazing showing from all of our teams. And 3 Pete has taken it again, and they have proven themselves and actually gotten the three-peat so that is very impressive um but a big gg to everyone in the chat we're going to have our um, winners interview first and then we will have our losers interview afterwards and we'll say some thoughts about the tournament as a whole and ctf as a whole um and then we'll probably do some friendly ctf playing um just to close out the night because i mean it's it's you wanted to do that uh yeah you wanted to do that what oh the show game match? against the winners yeah i'm gonna talk to the winners about that now because um yeah the show match we our our plan was to do a sub from that team uh, mm -hmm. a random uh, one of your members i was going to take jack um yeah and 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 dilatox who i who i asked um instead of taking a lego space team so it would actually be an interesting match yeah. Um, but it's actually a big shout out to everyone in the stream. It is Andy's birthday today. So everyone go oh. wish Andy a happy birthday in CTF chat. Um, so Andy is not available today. So we're going to see about what people want to do about that. Um, Andy said he would be fine if we have it without him because it's, it's actually surprisingly early. Uh, so we're going to ask, uh, what the winner's team wants to do. Um, so I'm going to go to blue mm -hmm. chat. I'm going to join winners in blue chat. Um, you guys can come along if you have any questions for them. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go there. I think I'll. Okay. Um, also, um, winners. Oh, there we go. Winners interview in blue. Then Bala's interview. Um, Yes, you can play. Um, Hello! Team 3 Pete has made the 3 Pete! Woo! It has been Congrats. completed! Let's go! Let's go! Nice job, guys! Thank you. Um, I'm very proud of you guys. You guys played super well. Um, I, I have a couple questions for you, as I always do. Um, but first, I just want to say, like, big congrats. Um, I think every single member of your team someone just pm'd me something oh are we doing yes 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 uh, i don't know if we're gonna do that now um sorry someone messaged me but uh yeah very good job uh all around every single one of you played exceptionally um sour killed the defense as always um uh classic i i must say i like to trash talk you classic but uh this tournament i don't know if there is really anything i can i can complain about i think you played better this tournament than you have in any previous tournament thus far you you were at awesome. times just hard carrying yeah. everything um thank you and arvid uh especially on that torvis game um i think you're absolutely crushing it um also your tnt has improved significantly um and mino honestly i didn't think you were that good before this tournament began um and i have changed my mind uh you are sick at the game uh, maybe it was because we hadn't played very much. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a pretty big compliment. Um, I, I I think your TNT is is quite good. Um, <laughs> and also, you you understand the game in the same way that Three Pete does, which is uh, which is definitely saying something. Um. Uh, yeah. So I mean, what do you guys have to say? Do you do you want to have anyone to thank? Do you want to say anything that contributed to your victory? Um, I want to thank all the haters to make us stronger. <laughs> uh, I think um, uh, it was uh, it, it it was fun. Like I think uh, in the end, we uh, we practiced a lot uh, and worked worked very hard. 
Mm -hmm. uh, both uh, with strat uh, our strats and with our uh, just skill. I think uh, ultimately uh, it paid off a lot. Uh, all the practice, not only for this tournament, but uh, over the entire year, I think mm -hmm. uh, really helped a lot in just not only uh, building up our skill in like TNT and stuff, but also just our ability to work together as a team. Mm -hmm. I think uh, really is what uh, shone through and. Uh, yeah, in the end, uh, it worked out pretty well. I think uh, today especially, I think we played some of the best CTF uh, we've ever played. I agree. I 100% agree. Um, was there any point during the match where you guys were worried and where you guys really thought that you might not be as good as you had expected? Probably at the yeah. start of Death Month. Um, that first cup was kind of unexpected. Mm. Um, our communication and we weren't very warmed up at the start but once we regained ourselves, we were able to come back quite easily so yeah. was glad the team was able to regain that easily I will exactly. say the commentary desk for that for that um, start of death match we had occasion commentating for the matches he wasn't playing in um, he got pretty hype after that first cap he was pretty excited <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny yeah. Um, but yeah that was that was a great game and I mean after deathmatch, you guys, you guys snapped back, and even during the end of deathmatch, you guys absolutely uh, rolled rolled over them on altar, and even more rolled over them on Torvis. Um, what do you think contributed to those wins? Uh, take them separately. I mean, how did you guys win on altar, and how did you guys win on Torvis? Um, can you repeat the question, please? Um, what What do you think? What do you? How do you guys? think you were able to get the victory on Alter and Torvis? And was there anything different about each map that you guys took into account uh, in your strategy? I mean, I think uh, in terms of how it played out, I yeah. think uh, a lot of it kind of came down to the, the, the first cap. I, I didn't really feel like we were unfocused, but I definitely felt like I felt like we could really tell like after the cap that we started focusing a lot more, which I mm -hmm. think uh, contributed a lot to uh, the subsequent matches, mm -hmm. especially when we got the momentum carries with, carrying with us. Yeah. Uh, for altar, we our strats on altar were we had a few uh, like um, a, a few things planned, nothing like major in terms of uh, strategy, but a lot of it came down to uh, kind of uh, overwhelming them at their flag and pushing them into a little box and kind of flanking from all different routes and kind of just being really annoying in that sense. Mm. Whereas on Torbus, uh, on Torbus, uh, the main strat, obviously Torbus is very difficult to defend on. Mm -hmm. uh, so we knew that it, it could end up being very explosive, yeah. especially when it came to the attack for both teams. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had practiced a lot of defense, just uh, working on uh, pushing out the, the opponents so that they don't get uh, to like up to the flag uh, flag room so that they have an advantage, just keep them down kind of on the bridges. Yep. As well as in attack. Uh, uh, it's kind of a similar concept with one push, uh, one person moving through the middle and uh, one person flanking, especially on Torbus. The below bridges yes. worked quite phenomenally. The, the below bridges strategy, I don't think we had really seen in a lot of the Torbus matches before that. And it, it, it was two quick caps for you, Arvid, that yep. I didn't expect at all. It was really well played. Yeah, I uh, I kind of figured that uh, people wouldn't really expect it. Uh, mm -hmm. Hence, kind of where why well, I, I haven't really wanted to say anything about it uh, uh, before, and I made sure to uh, not really use it in public games. Uh, I I noticed that <laughs> I didn't know it was a strategy. It was very well done. Yeah, we we wanted to hide a, a lot of things. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, over the past few weeks just to ensure that uh, we keep some of our cards uh, hidden on the table well i am i am it worked out really well so i'm glad for you guys that you did because i think that strategy wouldn't have been half as effective I... if it hadn't been known about mm. yeah yeah for sure i think uh, i think preparation is uh, uh, very much underrated uh, I think if you come well prepared into a game, you're gonna have uh, probably a ten times uh, better chance at, at winning. Uh, mm -hmm. Which I think, uh, hopefully, uh, is something that ev uh, everyone can uh, 
look at and learn from, and hopefully uh, put a lot of time into preparing uh, more specifically on each map and trying to come up with ways of uh, defeating the opponent. Mm. Um, all right, so I have a few more questions for you guys before we uh, round out the interview. Um, first of all, uh, Sour, I was watching you in Classic do a little bit of a late night, late night defense sesh. Um, quite frankly, you were getting blasted by Classic for most of that. Uh, do you think yeah. that all of the other attackers are just worse than he is? Or do you think that it's um, something to do with the way you play in 2v1 or 2v2 or 1v2 situations? That Because you're you're a very scary defender. You're able to hold off anything in these tournament matches. And, I mean, I was watching Classic get around you like, it was, like you were a slice of cheese and he was a steak knife. So, um, Yeah, cl Classic is the best, like, by far. But, um, yeah, I wanted to say, uh, you know, thank you for hosting the tournament and, um, you know, well played to the Ballers as well. They were very good. Even though the score didn't really show it, mm. they uh, were putting a lot of pressure on us. Well, thank you for playing. Um, and yeah, also, I mean, is there anything, this is, brings me to my next question. Um, is there anything you guys want to say to the Ballers? Do you want to call out any specific player for, you know, scaring you guys playing particularly well? Um, you could do a little trash talk if you want, but you know, don't be too mean because they did just lose. So, <laughs> uh, I, uh, in all honesty, uh, I would personally say that uh, at least in uh, comparison to what I thought, I think uh, pretty much everyone uh, did better than I expected. Mm. Like everyone on Ballas or everyone in the tournament? Like, what are we, what are we saying here? Uh. Well, everyone in Ballas, uh, everyone in the, uh, in the tournament as well, I I didn't expect uh, a lot of players to perform as well as they did. Mm. But in uh, Ballas, uh, I mean, it's different with uh, newer players, because uh, uh, you don't know how quickly they're going to learn the game and such. Yeah. But with more kind of, with players to, like in Ballas, who uh, uh, are a bit more, they, they played for longer, they have their reputation set, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's easier to expect uh, kind of what you're what you're going against because you've gone against it before, mm -hmm. and I think uh, uh, going into it, I didn't expect uh, them to bring the level that they did. I I they were trying their hardest against you guys, and I mean, good on them. They got through the cap. You guys didn't finish the tournament with uh, capless, so yeah. Uh, as a as a hoster and a viewer, I'm happy about that. I only wish you guys would have been a little bit worse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we still have the show match coming up. Um, That's true. Uh, uh, do you guys? I so I mentioned this earlier on stream, but I don't know if I don't think you guys were listening. So today is Andy's birthday. Um, so oh, happy birthday! Yes, happy birthday to Andy! Um, big shout out um, to one of the ogiest CTFers ever, and definitely a community organizer uh, for. I, probably without Andy and Acheron, I would not be playing CTF. Um, so that's very good. Um, well, not specifically Andy, but Acheron, the server, and Andy's a big part of that, or was a big part of that server. Um, but he was supposed to be in the show match, so I don't know how late you guys are feeling. I can put someone in for the show match. He definitely said that uh, I can get someone if you guys want to do it tonight. Uh, if not, uh, he said Sunday would probably work. Um, what What are you guys thinking? I'm okay with Sunday. Yeah, that works. Um, Minnow and Classic the second. That's fine for me. Um, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna double it. We're gonna do you guys uh, in the show match. And I heard there was some discussion of a show match between you guys and like uh, subs team. So if you guys still want to do that, we can do that also on Sunday. Yeah, sure. Just yeah. have a bit of have a bit of fun, face all the teams, and just yeah. I think uh, having it. Ha I mean, no one's gonna complain about having more games, you know. Yeah, that's true. I agree, <laughs> and I think uh, I think it'll be fun. We might be able to get some good, uh, maybe maybe get some more maps out there, um, uh, just to just Ooh, to see yeah, what that's that'll true. be like. Uh, yeah. uh, wow, we're yeah. seeing Zenerdy on a kill streak of twenty right now. That that's tragic. Hopefully, we'll have another tournament. And we'll get to see a lot of other good players. Um, but yeah, this brings me to my final question. Um, 
how did you guys like the tournament? Um, what do you guys think this means for CTF in general? What are your advices to new players? Give me your end of end of CTF thoughts. Ooh. Uh, can I go uh, first? You guys want to go first? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, CTF is a very fun game, you know. Um, I think we just need to advertise more. Mm. The game is fun, just not enough, not enough players. I 100% agree. And uh, a long time ago, there was too many players. <laughs> I can invite a lot of players. I used to invite a lot of players. Like literally, I invite two players. Um, excellent. Um, okay. Uh, what do you guys? What do you guys have to say, Jordy and Arvid and my Mino? Yeah. Um, for me, um, introducing Sar and Arvid to CTF from CS. Mm. It's a it's a big jump, you know, learning a completely new game mode. Um, I would say it's a lot harder to learn CTF than it is CS. So mm. my advice would be don't give up, keep practicing, get a tutor or someone who can guide you to how to play. I mean, look what happened to Arvid and Sar. They ended up winning free tournaments against pros at the game. So, you know, anything's possible, I guess. And thanks, Eo, for hosting. You've done a really good job. Thanks for playing. I, I love tournaments that have you guys in them because we always we always get to have everyone always has a team to beat and you guys are the team to beat. Uh, and I I look forward to the day when you're no longer the team to beat and someone has actually beaten you, but I don't see it I don't see it coming very soon. Um, oh my, my god. Mino uh I'm 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 muting everyone who's coming in here. Maybe we should uh if if we keep yep. getting more people, I will I will uh, move us to a private chat. But we're almost done. Um, uh, Mino and Arvid, what are your final thoughts? Hey, you want to go, Mino? Uh, sure. Uh, it was my first tournament, so it was a very nice experience. I definitely appreciate it, Ian. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you uh, playing, Mino. I really hope it's not your last tournament, though. Like you've been saying. <laughs> I have been saying that. I, I've had a lot more fun now that we've started it. The organizing was definitely a pain in the ass, but um, yeah. I I will be, hopefully, uh, hopefully there will be another tournament. I've been talking with some other people, and I, I will say this on stream, I guess, um, that there are other events uh, upcoming at the very least. Um, there, That's awesome. There has been two discussions I've been in that make it seem like there will probably be another tournament this year. Uh, I don't know if I'll host, but we'll see. And there will at least be another event in the next coming months. So um, it's very exciting. Very nice. Um, um, Arvid. Yeah, I guess I, I, I guess I can uh, leave some f uh, finishing thoughts as well. I think. Uh, I mean, the others have already said a lot. Uh, I think uh, the tournament was uh, it, it. It was very fun playing the tournament, practicing for the tournament. Uh, it's always uh, a blast trying to push your own skill. Uh, I mean, uh, in the end, trying to showcase uh, some really good CTF is always fun. And mm. uh, I'm hoping uh, that uh, having more, uh, not necessarily just tournaments, but just Events uh, for people to try and continue push uh, the limits is uh, exciting and fun. Uh, I think, uh, like to the entire uh, to the entire team, I think it's been uh, it, it's been really fun uh, playing and practicing with uh, Sour Classic and Mino. Uh, they're all uh, lovely gentlemen, uh, and uh, it's uh, I, I really think this. Uh, is one of the more fun tournaments uh, in that sense with uh, with the team. I would say. Mm. I really I really like the uh, like the team atmosphere that we had. I feel like we we uh, meshed together like a team uh, very well. I feel, which was very fun. And uh, then to you, of course, uh, very good job with uh, organizing the tournament. It was. Uh, it was fun, e even uh, throughout the complications. It was a fun tournament, <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping to uh, maybe a better map list next time. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> ah, I think the map list was fine. I, I'm hoping to see. I, I uh, honestly think the map list needed a little work uh, against you guys. I think it had more than enough good maps for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry. You can uh, 
you, yeah. you, you can I'll pick, uh, I'll pick maps a next time. Yeah, just just I'll pick every <laughs> map I think you guys will be bad on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't don't worry. We we gotta do what we gotta do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was it was really fun. Uh, I hope to see you um, host other tournaments, but also perhaps uh, play in in tournaments as well. Will be fun to see. Well, I'm looking forward to losing you to you guys in the show match. Um, as I expected, <laughs> uh, you guys are, are going to be my opponents, um, and I'm I'm looking forward to getting clapped, um, which is something yeah, I, I always enjoy. What do you say, Classic? I can I can be your tutor if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was actually I felt like I was learning a lot when I was playing with you and Arvid on Desert. Uh, you you. Arvid drama. Yeah, I actually no, I actually felt like I like I thought I was playing really well. I just didn't I wasn't able to convert. There was that some very stupid deaths. Um if I do say so myself. I had some good TNTs, but some very stupid deaths. <laughs> um okay. It's all about um, the clutch moments. We will we 